so good morning dear students uh, in the last class uh, we have studied uh, derivations and uh, some of the concepts i have explained you what is an uniform electric field and what is a non uniform electric field and also we have uh, found out the expression for electric field due to the point charge uh, so i have said you that a uniform electric field is the one in which uh, at every point the electric field is uniform and uh, for non uniform electric field uh, the the electric field is different at different points and we have uh, seen the derivation please go through the video again and again so that you can understand properly so now we are uh, moving to the next derivation here so in this chapter you will come across with so many derivations and in whole second pc you will be coming across with so many derivations dear children uh, so next derivation is for expression for electric field at a point on the axis of the dipole uh, we have also discussed what is a dipole uh, it is a pair of equal and opposite charges separated by some distance i have told you in the last class pair of equal and opposite charges separated by some of the distance and also i have explained you the dipole moment di means two dipole moment is uh, p is equals to the uh, product of either of the charge maybe it is a positive charge or a negative charge and the distance between them is multiplied so that you will get the dipole moment so dipole is di means two here see i am highlighting so it is a two equal and opposite charges separated by some of the distance we are going to find the expression for electric field at a point on the axis of the dipole so see here the diagram here uh, you can see minus q so dipole is located here minus q and plus q so this is the dipole here the distance between the two of the charges 2a as i have said you before only so let us uh, see uh, so here the electric field e1 you can find out this is the electric field experienced by the charge minus q and e2 is located here uh, so e2 is the electric field experienced by the charge plus q so resultant electric field is the showing the direction this way uh, e is the resultant electric field that is uh, we will get by doing sum of e1 plus e2 so here uh, we have taken uh, uh, at any point we are going to calculate the electric field so that point we have considered as the c uh, so the, this point uh, let us see the diagram first of all Uh, in the above figure minus q and plus q are the magnitudes of the charges of the dipole you know that so those are the magnitudes those are the values of the charges of the dipole uh, minus and plus itself indicates the magnitudes so here uh, 2a is the distance between the charges so c is the point uh, we have considered on the axial line on the straight line c is the point uh, so r is the distance between see r is the distance between the point o and the point c so in between the dipole also we have considered the point that is o so r is the distance between so you can see here r is the distance between the point o and c in uh, so between the point o and c there is a distance that is uh, denoted as r i think you have understood so here a and b are the indications of the points where the plus the minus uh, q charge is present at the point a and the plus q charge is present at the point b for our calculation we are denoting it uh, so i think you are clear uh, so you can see here uh, you can get confused that what else so i have divided this dipole line with the point o so distance between point a and o is small letter a and distance between the point letter o and b is small a distance between the point o and b is the small letter a so now uh, let us so i have told you that we are going to find the electric field at the reference point c i have only considered that point c so let us calculate the electric field at c first due to the charge minus q so we are going to calculate the electric field due to both the dipoles so first we are finding out the electric field at c due to the charge minus q so since i am finding of electric field of charge minus q1 sorry minus q that is why i am denoting it as e1 according to again uh, the coulomb's law we can write uh, this is i am calculating of minus q electric field 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q by ac square so why i have taken ac square here here minus q charge is located at the point a and uh, my reference point is at c that is why the distance is ac square ac square i should write ac square 
because i am calculating the electric field please understand dear students concentrate properly i am calculating the electric field due to the charge due to the charge minus q so that is covered from point a to reference point c so that we have written q divided by ac square here q divided by ac square we can write here is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q is like that only how do we write uh, ac square how how do i get ac so here the distance between a how will i get ac means if i do ao plus oc please understand the i'll uh, if i want to get the distance from point a to point c i have to add that right so what i am doing is i will take the distance ao plus oc so what is the distance here between uh, a and the point o that is capital letter a ao plus oc i have to do. how how i get the ac square i have to do ao plus oc ao means the small letter a and oc means you can see here the distance between point o and c is r that is why i have written here that is why i have written here r plus a since in the coulomb's law the denominator is r square so r plus a whole square this is along ca along ac along c or ac i think you have understood please understand how will i get ac square if i want to get the distance of ac i have to add the points ao plus oc here ao means small letter a uh, r plus a or a plus r you can write uh, don't get confused with that uh, the distance between a the point a and o is a and distance between point o and c is r so that only i have written r plus a whole square so whatever i have written here is the uh, field due to the charge minus q now let us move electric field at the c we are finding the electric field at the point c due to the plus q the same way i have to take uh, i'll write e2 is equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q by bc square so from where does the plus charge q counts from here b to till c how will i get uh, the distance between b to c i have to subtract ab minus bc ab minus bc or sorry uh, i am calculating only of plus q so i will take the reference point so i have to minus ob minus what should i do here ob minus oc ob minus oc i have to do here for getting ac square uh, when i have calculated the electric field c at point uh, at the charge minus q i was supposed to add that but i need to calculate the electric field at c due to the plus q charge here so that i have to uh, subtract ob minus ob minus here ob minus oc ob minus oc so what is ob here a what is oc here r so r minus a whole square so if you are in front of me i can make you understand very well but please try to understand here how how i have written here along bc i am calculating because i am calculating the electric field at the dipole point charge plus q so i have to take the count from the point ta to point c so that how will i get only bc i have to subtract ob minus bc or bc minus ob you can write so r minus a whole square along bc along bc produced that line is produced so now i have got the both the electric fields so that uh, we can move to the next step uh, so when we want the total electric field we have to add it so let us see what is there here resultant electric field at point c we have calculated both the electric field so here e1 is the electric field due to the charge minus q and e2 is the electric field due to the charge plus q so let us uh, subtract here uh, since i have written e2 here because uh, the minus sign we will get in the derivation while uh, calculating of minus q that is why so capital letter e is equals to q divided by 4 pi epsilon not i am subtracting both first i have taken e2 since in both of the terms 
q divided by 4 pi epsilon is the common term i have taken on and rest of the things i have written uh, i am not going to drag since uh, you are familiar with the mathematical steps so just you have to understand this so here uh, we have taken out the lcm so that this step will become like this e is equals to q by 4 pi epsilon not r plus a whole square minus r minus a whole square divided by the denominator you already know that we have taken lcm here uh, so uh, you just uh, observe here uh, in the first step i forgot here to tell you e2 is greater than e1 because r minus a is less than r plus a that's why uh, we have written e2 in the beginning here you can ask why you told that we have to add it and but you are subtracting ma'am you can ask because here e2 is greater than e1 so that we have written like that in order to get the proper value so after taking lcm this step we will get here so therefore uh, there is a equation in the mathematics you know that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square can be written as 4ab uh, in the same way in place of a there is r in place of b there is a so a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is 4ab you can write r plus a whole square minus r minus a whole square as 4ar so you have written here 4ar numerator you have written is 4ar but in the denominator there is r minus a whole square into r plus a whole square according to this property you can write as a minus b whole square into a plus b whole square can be written as a square minus b square whole square this is also the maths one of the formula of the mathematics you can understand you already know that so that uh, again in order to simplify the step i have taken 1 over 4 pi epsilon outside q i have sent inside in order to simplify q into q i have taken inside the bracket you just understand here inside the bracket i have taken q into ar divided by r square minus a square whole square so later on uh, i'm going to write so one over in the next step e is equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not uh, q is like that only but uh, i have written 4ar 4ar as 2a into 2r i can write like i can write because the value is not changed right dear students so that i can write 4ar as 4ar as 2a into 2r uh, but as you know that q into 2a can be written as p what is p that is dipole moment q into 2a is equals to p that is dipole moment so i will substitute in place of q into 2a as p so r is like that 2a is left like that so we can write as 2rp so final expression is e is equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not 2 into rp so where does the q and 2a went that is written like this q into 2a is equals to p that is dipole moment that can be substituted here so denominator remains the same so this is the expression for the electric field so where electric field and dipole moment are in same direction so i'll go to the first slide once again see here dear students i'm going to explain you once again so we have calculated the expression for electric field at a point on the axis of the dipole so we have considered the dipole here so dipole is the one uh, which is having equal and opposite charges di means two there are two charges which are equal and opposite and separated by some of the distance so here point c is the point which i have considered to find out the electric field now consider maadkondiro point the electric field na find out maadlikke point c alli now electric field na find out maadbeku anta on the reference point na tagondirodu so illi nodi makkale alli a matte b kanistha ide anusutte nimige slide alli nan yak matton sala explain maartta idini andre thumba makkale english alli helad artha agalla anta ankondidini so a matte o madhye iro distance na small letter a matte o matte b madhye irodanna small letter a anta tagondidivi illi e1 andre minus q charge inda bartiro electric field e2 andre plus q charge inda bartiro electric field illi capital letter e andre eradu kuda add maadadaga baruvantaha resultant field ಫಿಗರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಟೂ ಎ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಟೂ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರೋದು ಟೂ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ಟೂ ಎ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೀವಿ ಡೈಪೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೀನಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರೋ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಒ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರೋ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಹತ್ರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಹತ್ರ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಒಪ್ಟೇನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯಾವ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂದ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂದ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಎಪ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇದು ಯಾವ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರ್ಕೋತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೂಲಂಸ್ ಲಾ ಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ಯೂ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಸಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಬರ್ದೆ ನಾನು 
ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ನನ್ನ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತನಕ ಮಾತ್ರ ಲೆಕ್ಕ ತಗೋಬೇಕಲ್ವ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ನನ್ನ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಸೊ ಎ ಸಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾನು ಹಾಕೋಬೇಕು ಟೋಟಲ್ ಎ ಸಿ ನನಗೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ಹೇಗ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಎ ಸಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒ ಎ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಒ ಸಿ ನೋಡಿ ಒ ಸಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಆರ್ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಒ ಎ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರೋ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನನಗೆ ಎ ಸಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಂಗೆ ಎ ಸಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಲೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ಮಧ್ಯ ಇರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ತಾನೆ ಸಿಗೋದು ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ನ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೀನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಹತ್ರ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ತಿದೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಹತ್ರ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಇ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಎಫ್ಸಲ್ ಆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕೆ ತಗೊಂಡೆ ನಂದರೆ ನಾನು ಯಾವ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಅನ್ನು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇದು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒ ಇಂದ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ತನಕ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒ ಇಂದ ಸಿ ತನಕ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇಕು ಇವಾಗ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಒ ಬಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಿ ಸಿ ನ ನಾನು ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಒ ಬಿ ನನಗೆ ಬರೀ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇಕು ನನಗೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿದೀವಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನಾನು ಯಾವ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೊರಟಿದೀನಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಬರೀ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದಿದೆ ಒ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಲೆಕ್ಕ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಒ ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಆರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಒ ಬಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟಿಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಎ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ನನಗೆ ಸಾರಿ ಒ ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒ ಸಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಒ ಸಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಆರ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಬರಿಬೇಕು ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅದು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದು ಕೋಲಂ ಕೂಲಂಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಸ್ಟಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಈ ತರ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನನಗೆ ರಿಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂದಾಗ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಆ ಸಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರ ನೀವು ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನೋಡಕ್ ಹೋದಾಗ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇ ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಆರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಇ ಟು ನ ಮೊದಲು ಬರೀಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎರಡೂ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯೂ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಪ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡದಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಆಚೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಬರ್ದಿದೀವಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತು ನಿಮಗೆ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಅಂತ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಆ
so i have um, tried my best to make you understand yarge doubt idru neevu call maadi keli nan nimage neat aagi hel kodtini so video na matte matte nodi neevu first year students alla second year students agirodrinda mathematical steps nimage gottirutte and neevu mathematics alli swalpa strong irle beku because mathematics alli neevu strong illa antandre nimage physics derivations na yavde karanakku solve madakke agalla so neevu yavaglunu ನೋಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡಿರೇವೇಶನ್ ನ ಕಲಿತಾ ಇರಿ ಏನೇ ಡೌಟ್ ಇದ್ರು ನೀವು ಮುಜುಗರ ಪಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೀವು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಇನ್ನೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥನೇ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗ ನೀವು ನನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಅದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಸೊ ನೀವು ಡೌಟ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ನೀವು ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಏನು ಅನ್ಕೋತಾರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೀವೇನು ಅನ್ಕೊಳದ್ ಬೇಡ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ಟು ಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ 